Falk. The Labor Day weekend was violent and deadly here in Birmingham. Six people killed by gun violence in the past 72 hours. Five others hurt, including a small child. Yeah, WVTM 13 Chip Scarborough joining us live at UAB Hospital tonight. That's where one of those victims is being treated. Chip. Ian and Sherry, a man in his early 20s had surgery here at UAB Hospital earlier today after he was shot at the Quest nightclub early this morning. Turns out he's actually the cousin of a prominent community activist. Is he the jail or hell in this world? That's the message Jasmine Deloach has for the people committing crimes in our area. Deloach met up with us outside of UAB Hospital Monday afternoon as she was heading inside to check on her cousin. She says he's in the ICU after being shot early Monday morning at the Quest nightclub. Well, young man is up here fighting for his life. I'm raising his brother. And his brother is up here seeing this. His mother died to gun violence. The Labor Day weekend gun violence started Friday evening when a man was shot while driving on Arkadelphia Road. His two children were in the car with him. One of them hit in the leg by a flying bullet. Their car hit another vehicle, injuring people in that car. The next day, Saturday afternoon, two men were shot and killed on Inglenook Street. Deloach was there to help the families of the victims. And I'm tired of people having to bury their family members. Do you know how many people I'd have called around and then go for him he's on just to get them in the ground? This is ridiculous. This is terrible. But nobody should have to bury their family members. Saturday night, four men were shot at the Eelton Village housing complex. Two of them died. The weekend gun violence continued Monday morning when Deloach's cousin was critically injured during a shooting at the nightclub. A second shooting victim died at the club. Put the guns down. I mean, I'm serious. People don't have hearts these days. Pastor Alton Hardy says he has been working to help mentor young black men in the community and prevent there from being further victims of gun violence. Actually, in these communities, you have more funerals than you have weddings. So, so for us, we just keep doing what we know to do. And by the grace of God, we occasionally, through God and the power of God, a young man will say, yeah, I want to do it the right way. I want to break the cycle. And that, for me, gives me enough energy to come do this interview. Jasmine Deloach has not only left comforting families of those who lost loved ones, but also comforting her own family as they monitor their loved ones recovery. What's it going to take? You either put the guns down or you put your arms and your fists up and guess where you going to jail. And police were able to make an arrest in that nightclub shooting that happened early this morning. They're still working to make arrests in all the other shootings that happened this weekend. Live at UAB Hospital tonight, Chip Scarborough, WVTM 13. And